working on? Well, what I'm doing is I'm drilling these holes out, and I got these beer caps, and I'm going to put them all the way down in these holes. We can kind of stick them in there like that. That'd be a cool front of the bar face. Yeah, it'll look pretty cool. I just got, I got like 180 holes, and there's only about 80 beer caps, so I got to... So time for another party? Probably time for another party, I would say. So what's up, man? You seem kind of down. Yeah, it's just a long week, man. Yeah? A lot of crap going on. Your head doesn't seem in this. Nah, you know... You know what it is, is this week, I got a, these tattoos a few weeks ago, and you know what this one girl asked me if I worked for the marketing department of Cadillac? I <laughs> mean, it's like, they're tattoos, is it that big of a deal? Why don't you let me finish this and why don't you go for a bike ride? That seems to clear your head. You sure? Yeah. Well, sorry we're not going filming tonight, but I'll just hit the road. Tattoo convention right downtown. Uh, bring all the stuff. We're filming. Sometimes you wanna go where everybody knows your name. And they're always glad you came. So welcome to episode 11 of the Bling Johnson Show. I am really excited to be here tonight. We're at the Austin Tattoo Festival Revival. I don't know what it's called. But let's just say we're happy to be here. So we're going to go around. We're going to see what's going on, why people get tattoos. We're going to try to find some crazy people, some normal people. Probably going to find crazy people. I don't think we're going to find too many normal people. But we're going to have a good time. So thanks for watching, and let's get famous. So apparently, sure. she's pretty you know, busy back here. But we're going to wait for her, because this is the tattoo art revival information desk and we got to make sure that our friend brian wild can get in okay here it comes she's almost done okay she's kissing him okay it's all we're almost there sweet pea does people say that anymore what is this 1978 hey so how you doing well uh, i'm i'm okay can i uh yes so you look like a rock star man i mean all the tattoos can i have some wine please thank you so much yeah you're gonna need a lot more than that to put up with me all right now hey we're gonna go ahead and go into the tattoo convention what, what should we expect in there what you should expect is a lot of tattoos. Oh, well, there, thanks Thanks for lighting yeah. up that, that room. And a bit is of there, belly dancing. Some good-looking men in there, because uh, my, my camera guy's looking for some good-looking men. There's a man with a booty and heels. <laughs> is that right? What do you do here? Um, security. All right, now we're going to go ahead and head in here and interview some people. What should we expect? Is there any danger in there? You got oh, any gang no activity? Danger. No, 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 nothing like that ever. There's some gang activity, though, isn't there? Oh, just on Tuesdays. All right, we are here. With, what's your name, sir? Steve. Steve, what kind of tattoo you get? Uh, what am I getting anyway? I forgot. Traditional. Yeah, <laughs> traditional. You don't even know. You're you're asking the tattoo go like it's his choice. It it's his choice. choice. It is. <laughs> wow. So you're all into good decisions, aren't you? Oh yeah. All right. Now hey, we are here at the booth for Atomic Tattoo. What's your name, sir? Toby. Toby. I know Toby because he's the one who did the microphone and. Cadillac. So we are in the middle of a pretty serious tattoo going on here. Looks like with, with two guys that know what they're doing, they've been around for a while. What's your name, sir? My name is Gil Monte. Gil, Gil Drill, a.k.a. Gil the Drill. All right, now how about you, man? What's your name? They call me Fat Dog. They call you what? Fat Dog. Fat Dog? Yeah. You know why they call him Fat Dog? I have no clue. Because he tells them to. Because <laughs> he tells them to. Well, I'd pretty much do whatever you said, sir. So so what's the, what's the uh, meaning of your tattoos? I mean, because what we're trying to find out is why people get tattoos in general. What would you say? I have multiple sclerosis, and this is for multiple sclerosis awareness. So it means something? Yes. Each is uh, very deep and represents something, and to me, this is hope for my future. Right. So when I got Cadillac, that's quite a bit less meaningful than what you got. <laughs> yeah. You've been having a good time here at the show, Toby, or what, man? Yes, I've been having a blast. Uh, pr been pretty busy? Oh, uh, yeah. I've been on him the whole time. <laughs> you, you've been on him the whole time. We're going to go ahead and move on to another booth, everybody. I used to have to put cover-up makeup on my neck to work at Starbucks. <laughs> Hold on. You used to work at Starbucks? I worked at Starbucks for three years. Did you really? Oh, yeah. So if I need a coffee right now, would you go ahead and go get me one? No. <laughs> so we are here at the Austin Speed Shop booth. Now, come on over here, man. What's your name? James. James. Now, do people at the shop know who you are? Yeah. So what do you do there? A lot of stuff. Like what? Give me one thing that you do. Uh, fabricate. 
So you do a lot of metal work? So. So we love Austin Speed Shop. They do some cool stuff. And while I'm talking right now, we're going to show you the Cadillac they got here. And as you know, we love Cadillacs right there. Cadillac's kind of our thing. They got some other hot rods here. So you guys having a good show here? Oh, good time. Now, do you do any tattoos? We don't. I mean, some of us might be able to. I don't know. Hey, you got a staple gun? Maybe we can just kind of work something out. <laughs> yeah, we can do something like that. But thanks for being on, man. No problem. And hey, we always support Austin Speed Shop. Can you mind if I try this on? All right, here, here we go. Now, how, what do you think? Awesome. You think my hat looks good now? I think it's rad. You think we should walk around and try to sell it? You should. Hey, so what's, what's your name? My name's Jerry. Jerry, all right, Jerry, me and you are going to walk around all like right, we like on. each other, at least for a couple minutes. All right, that works. What's your name, sir? I'm John. John, how you doing? I'm doing all right. Now, what we're trying to do, we're trying to sell this helmet for $100. Are you interested? Not really. Where are you from? Uh, but I'm in San Antonio right now. We're from Hollywood. San Antonio. You're not going to cut me, are you? I don't know. You need to be cut? No, no, I don't need to be cut. If you're asking me, the answer is no. I know how. You just say when. Where are you from? Austin. Austin. So have you heard of me before? No. Well, I'm Ling Johnson. What's up? Not my ratings, I can tell you that much. <laughs> so I got a friend of mine named Frank, and do you, th do you think Frank should get some neck tattoos? Yeah, sure, why not? I did. All right, now we are here with a guy from, uh, is, are you from Austin 360 or where are you from? Uh, Austin 360, I'm David Weaver. David Weaver, now he is covering the event. He was taking some pictures of us. Where are these pictures going to show up? They'll be on the Statesman's Entertainment website. Hold on, is, these pictures are going to be on the Statesman's website? The Statesman's Entertainment website, <laughs> which is austin360.com. Go out, take a look, I would guess late Sunday, early Monday morning. You'll see them out at www.austin360.com. Get a good shot of his ears there. Now, now, can you hear what I'm telling you? Yeah. All right, you, so you can hear me okay? I can. Okay, I didn't know how that works. <laughs> yeah. so, like when you're out in the street, Austin's a pretty cool town though. So I mean, a lot of people in Austin probably think it's cool, but do you ever get people giving you a hard time? Uh, yeah, not, not really a hard time just asking a bunch of dumb questions. Yeah, pretty much like, like I'm doing right now. You guys have a tattoo shop in Houston? Yes. So what's the website? Um, Gaslight-gallery.com. All right, because my mom and dad live in Houston. I was thinking about sending my mom over there to get a little bit of work done. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we are here. Now, she said she didn't want to do a whole lot of talking, but she would tell me her name. What's your name? Jess Terry. Jess Terry. Terry. All right, Jess Cherry? Yes. All right, I got it right. I'm a little slow. I apologize. Okay. There was a guy in South Korea last week, told me his name 10 times, I couldn't figure it out. Now, we are here at the Tattoo Convention in Austin. We hope you enjoyed it. For more information, go to golivefast.com. Thanks for watching, and let's get famous. Sometimes you wanna go where everybody knows your name. What's your name? Layla. Layla. Lily Blackout. All right. Now, hey, I like the hair. <laughs> Thank you. It's amazing. I can't imagine what your mother must have looked like. Uh, 